Why do more and more families choose Cyprus as the place of residence? Hello, my name is Florian Wilk. I'm the director of CMC in Larnaca in the beautiful Mediterranean island of Cyprus. And uh, in the last 10 years I'm living in Larnaca, I experienced recently that more and more families are choosing Cyprus as their place of residence. And in this video, I want to explain more why this um, is happening and why Cyprus becomes more and more attractive for expat families from all over the world. Please don't forget to give me thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel for more information about Cyprus, relocation, immigration, properties, taxes and much more. So as I already mentioned, in the recent years, there's more and more families uh, coming to Cyprus. And this is a new phenomenon because uh, previously we had a lot of um, retired people, but also individuals, entrepreneurs coming as a single to Cyprus. And in the last two, three years, there's more and more families coming with kids to Cyprus and choosing Cyprus as their place to live. So why is that? First of all, of course, Cyprus has a great Mediterranean climate. It's always warm all year long. Of course, in the winter it's a bit more fresh and it can be also raining between January and March. But um, in a total, it's a very nice, very um, relaxed Mediterranean climate with two very hot summer months, July and August, which you have to get used to, right? But once you are used to these temperatures and to the Mediterranean climate, you don't want to miss it. It's the perfect climate all over the year and the perfect place to stay all over the year, not just for six months or a short uh, summer break or something like that. So from the climate, Cyprus, because of its southeast location in the Mediterranean, has the perfect climate if you are planning to relocate somewhere and spend somewhere most of the year. The second very important point is the safety. Cyprus has a very low crime rate. Of course, it's an island yeah, and it's a very relaxed mentality. People are very friendly and not aggressive at all. You know, we have the orthodox um, people mostly in Cyprus. And um, apart from a few exemptions, of course, like everywhere in the world, there's nearly no crime. There's no robberies. There's no car thefts or people breaking into houses. It's happening very, very rarely. Actually, I know many people who don't even lock their cars or lock their doors. It shows like how safe Cyprus is, even though I would not recommend to do so. Um, but there is really people who don't uh, lock their cars and uh, houses because they feel so safe. Also important is the health system in Cyprus. We have a national health system, which is quite new since 2019, and it's working very efficiently and very good. Um, you pay a small fee based on your um, income uh, for the health system and you get free general practitioner visits. You just pay six euros for the specialized doctor visit and just one euro for each medication. So it's a very fair and very affordable system and it works really nicely. You have short waiting uh, time when you want to see the doctor. You have a very personal um, interaction with the doctor. The doctors are really taking time for the patients in Cyprus and this makes it really, compared to other jurisdictions, a very strong health system. Of course you have different clinics, you have very modern like the American Heart Institute and you have some older or not so modern clinics. Um, so it depends on your case and uh, on your needs. You can choose between many small and big clinics and also of course we have private clinics uh, in Cyprus and also a lot of health tourism, people coming from other countries for the specialized clinics in Cyprus. So the health system, I would say, is very competitive and internationally on a very good standard. Also very important as a family, you have an international expat community. You have more and more families coming from all over the world, especially from other European countries, choosing Cyprus as their place of residence. So it's very easy to connect with other families for the kids to make friends and to have really international environment between French, Italian, German, Spanish, Greek, Cypriot, Israeli and much more. It's a really good mixture and you will see many different nationalities, many entrepreneurs coming with their families from different places all over the world to Cyprus and choosing Cyprus as their place 
of residents and their center of life. And of course, there's many tax advantages in Cyprus. The corporate income tax is just 12.5%. As a non-DOM, you're exempt from special contribution of defense for 17 years, which basically means that your dividends um, are tax exempt for 17 years. And there's many more tax advantages, sometimes smaller, sometimes bigger incentives, which makes it very easy to choose Cyprus as a place of tax residence. And it's one of the main reasons, of course, why people come to Cyprus and also bring their families um, because uh, compared to most other countries, you can save a lot of taxes in a legal way. So let me tell you also something about the cost of living. Um, if you are um, renting a small villa or like an older villa, even 1000 euro can do the job for you. You can rent a villa in Cyprus, but of course nothing very modern um, and uh, not on the latest standard. But for 1000 euros, you can definitely find nice properties with a pool and not too far from the sea. If you want something more modern, you should spend around 2000, sometimes a little bit lower, but usually between 2000 and 2500 euros. This will rent you a three bedroom villa with pool in a very modern standard. Um, of course, not in Limassol. This is a more expensive area of Cyprus, but in Paphos and Lanaka, um, also Ayanapa, Paralimni, for 2,000 euros, maybe two and a half thousand euros, you get something really modern and nice. Goods which are imported are usually a little bit more expensive in Cyprus because it's an island and there's long transportation ways. So of course, it's bringing up the prices a little bit. So goods and also food which is imported is a little bit more expensive, but food which is produced locally, also local wine, local cheese, vegetables and services are cheaper than most other countries. For example, if you compare Western Europe and Central Europe, services like car mechanic, cleaning staff, household yeah, and um, repairs and other services, Cyprus is much more affordable and much cheaper than those places. Of course, it depends on perspective, which prices you are used to, where you're coming from and what you compare it with, right? But uh, just to give you a brief idea about the rents and also the cost of living, that the import goods are a little bit more expensive and services are cheaper than most European countries, at least Western and Central European countries. So which place is the best to live in Cyprus? Of course, this is a very individual question and there's many places to choose from. Many fam families go to Paphos because it's very quiet. It's a nice nature. You have uh, mountains, you have the sea, you have a nice uh, vegetation around with bananas, with olive trees. And it's very uh, a nice environment. But of course, um, you can also choose something like Limassol, which is more busy, of course, more expensive, and it's like a business hub as well. Or Lanaka, if you want to have the biggest airport next to you and the sea, and you want to be a little bit in the middle of everything, because Lanaka is between Ayanapa and Limassol, also not far to Nicosia. So it's a very strategic location, but it's a smaller town um, with the potential to grow. The nature uh, is not that nice like Paphos. So it really depends on what you like, what is important for you. If you want uh, some advice on where you could possibly feel most um, home and, uh, and have the, the best experience, just contact me. I'm happy to give um, advice according to your needs and your standards. And uh, schools and kindergartens, also a very important topic. You have plenty of international schools and kindergartens in Cyprus depending on the area you are living in. So um, if you like, I can give you a list of international schools and kindergartens, including their fees, which are depending on the school year. And um, of course, the school itself between five to 7,000 euros a year, sometimes up to 10,000 euros a year, just to give you a brief idea for the fees of a private school. So uh, if you need more information to that, just uh, send me a WhatsApp and I'm happy to provide you with more information. And another interesting uh, thing possibly for you that after seven years, um, you can get the citizenship. Yeah, you can naturalize in Cyprus and obtain the Cypriot citizenship um, for you and your family. So if you decide to live in Cyprus and um, to become a resident in Cyprus with your family, after seven years, you have the option to become a Cyprus passport holder. So this is important for you if you uh, want a second or third citizenship. In Cyprus, this is possible after seven years. Um, and this is also interesting, especially if you're from non-European country and you want a European passport. Okay, that's the 
information for now why Cyprus is so popular for families. If you have any questions, if you, you want to relocate to Cyprus and need any advice, help, please feel free to contact me. You will find the Calendly link below this video to um, arrange for a Zoom meeting with me. But you can also contact me through WhatsApp and we can uh, exchange um, uh, information on that channel. If you're coming to Cyprus, make sure to uh, give us a visit in Lanaka. You're always welcome. And uh, if you like my channel, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much and have a wonderful time. Yours, Florian Wilk.